So for today's science experiment craft, we are going to be making a sound drum with a cup. And we'll also be experimenting to see <clears throat> um, what comes out of the hole that we're going to make at the bottom. So you will need a cup, preferably um, a paper cup. So it'll make it nice and easy to puncture. A plastic bag. You can use cling wrap if you don't have a plastic bag like this. Um, scissors and tape. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is poke a hole in the bottom of this cup. You can see I have a hole in the bottom of this cup. Um, the best way for you to do this might be to just take a sharp pencil and just gently hold your cup like this up on the table and just gently like poke at it. I'm just gonna use the tip of my scissors right now to do that. It's easy. You don't have to push really hard. You just have to push a little bit and just twist and then whoop, there you go. Eventually it'll just open and you don't want it to be a huge, huge hole, just a little hole. So about the, si about the size of like a pencil, maybe a little bit thicker is really all you need. Here we go. Now I've got a hole on this cup. Um, see, and I'm thinking, if, so it's about like the width of like a finger. So you could probably stick like your finger in there. Um, so you know. And then, the next part is, we are going to want to take our plastic bag. I'm going to put it over the cup. You're going to want to put it all the way over and pull it nice and tight over the cup. So it's nice, like when you push it, when you try to push it in, it doesn't go in. Okay? So you're going to want to hold it nice and tight. And then we're just going to cut all around. So we're going to tape it on. So just find a spot, snip it open. And just start cutting all around. Okay. So now I have my top. And this might be easier with two people. You're going to want one person to hold it down tight. And another person to put tape all around the edges. Okay, I'm gonna get my tape ready. I don't have a partner here, so I'm just gonna try to do my best, do it on my own. Long piece. Okay, so untwist it here. Now I have to tape down my piece of plastic. You need to make sure that. There's no spots that your plastic isn't taped down because if there's a hole where you didn't tape it closed, um, it won't work as well. Going around, taping down that plastic. I gotta get a new Okay, so see right here, I had it taped here, but here it's not actually taped down. So I'm going to retape that spot. 
I taped over the plastic, but it's not touching the cup. I want to make sure it's nice and secure. I also want to keep it nice and tight, so I keep checking every now and then to make sure I'm actually keeping it tight enough over the cut. Because if it's not tight, it's not really going to make any sound. And it's not going to have the effect that we want it to. Alright, do one last look over, make sure that there's no holes. I'm finding a couple spots where there are holes, that's why I'm just patching that up now. There we go. Okay. Now I have my my cup taped on all sides. I've got the hole in the bottom. Now, you can kind of tap on it. Don't hit it really, really hard because then you might end up just breaking the plastic. But you should be able to kind of come on it like this, tap on it. And the next part is we are going to be making, taking your plastic bag and cutting out a rectangle of it. Now, anywhere you want on the back, just try to cut out kind of a rectangular piece. There we go. Got this part cut out. Now, the next part is I'm going to be cutting a fringe on the bottom, which means I'm going to be cutting a bunch of thin, long pieces. Okay. Maybe about a finger in width. Nice long pieces. Just so you can see. Nice long thin pieces. So I'm just going to be doing that. I'm not going all the way up. Just a little bit. About a hand or two is long enough. Okay, now I'm all done cutting the bottom of my paper bag, oh, plastic bag. <laughs> now what you're want, gonna wanna do is have someone hold this. I don't have anyone here to be my partner to help me hold it up. This is like your target. So what I did was I taped my target to this chair. Okay, so let's see if this works. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit my drum that I made and I'm going to try to make my target move. Let's see. 
see it? You see it flooding around? So all I'm doing is hitting my drum. The air is getting pushed out of the cup through this little hole, and the air is just going straight to my target. So now that you've made this, your goal is to find out how far away can you stand away from your target and still get it to flutter and move. Good luck, boys and girls.